Thank you. New question, the Leader of Her Majesty's Royal Opposition. My question for the Premier. Premier, last week uh, I received an email from a local uh, news organization indicating that your government plans to approve by the end of November WPD's application to build eight 500 foot tall wind turbines, structures that will be as tall as the TD Tower here in Toronto, directly beside the Collingwood Regional Airport. What? Now I've raised this issue, as you know, many times with your government over the years. You yourself uh, visited the area just before you became leader and you said that this specific project should not go ahead in the face of community opposition. And you've also said that an airport should not have to shut down because of wind turbines. So Premier, is it true? Are you going to approve these 500 foot wind turbines in proximity to the Collingwood Airport? Premier. Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Minister of the Environment and Climate Change. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, that's enough. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. First of all, there's an environmental assessment process for these things as well, of which the public has a chance to comment. But, Mr. Speaker, airports and airport standards are regulated by the federal government. And we've had this debate uh, uh, with members opposite. And, uh, you know, we have federal transportation minister who doesn't like to return provincial ministers' calls, and that's always a challenge. Uh, but we're really looking for some leadership from the federal government here, Mr. Speaker, because you cannot build things in the pathway of an airport uh, contrary to federal government fly and approach and rules, Mr. Speaker. Yes, so I've offered many times to meet with the member opposite. I've offered offer to, to sit down. I've actually had <clears throat> met with people from the airport and that, and we need greater clarity from them. We are following Thank our you. rules. We'll follow our EAA process. We're looking for. Thank you. Supplementary. Uh, Premier, uh, all four surrounding municipalities are against this project. They would like their planning power back so that at least they would have the common sense and wisdom to not put these damn things next to an airport. It's insane what you're doing. It's insane that you would say one thing in the area just before you're elected leader and then not do the review that you said you would do, or at least I'm not aware that you've done it, and that this process just keeps plowing ahead. It doesn't make any sense. And Minister, I say to you, the federal government has no rules about wind turbines near airports because they didn't need to develop rules because the municipalities used to have the planning tools to make sure this wouldn't happen. So they're looking at you like a bunch of dummies that you would actually do this in the first place. And, that's, and, and, and they're just saying, well, give back the planning power. So why don't you do that? Why don't you give these municipalities and all the municipalities across rural Ontario the authority they deserve? They can tell you where to put your garage and where to place your house. What a shame. Say, Mr. Speaker, after that, other than the member, should really be the member representing. The member from Bruce Gray Hill and Sound will come to order second time. Finish, please. After that dramatic performance, the member should be representing the community of Stratford, Mr. Speaker. That's a, <laughs> an Academy Award winning performance. The member from here on, Bruce, will come to order. Thank you. I, the, I, I know the minister. The uh, member from here on, Bruce, will come to order a second time. And if I knew where the direction was, I'd warn that me member. It's not a laughing matter. Please finish. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. We're not interested in endangering the lives of Ontarians, and we also respect the constitutional authority. Member from Stormont, come to order. 
I'm the member for Toronto Centre. I fly out of the island airport. There are very tall structures all around that. And, and we, excuse me, seated please. The member from Bruce Gray Owen Sound is warned. Finish please. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. There's large smokestacks about. Member from Renfrew, come to order. A little more fiber, a little less coffee, maybe, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Finish your answer. The, uh, you see the place, new question. The member from Kenora, Rainy River. Thank you, Speaker. To the Minister of Natural Resources.